All right, you finished the phrase worksheet, and now we are going to check your answers. Let's see how well you did. Start with page one, activity one. Again, what I've asked you to do here is um, underline the prepositional phrase and then draw a line or an arrow or somehow identify the word it modifies while also labeling the part of speech it's functioning in. So an example here, throughout the apartment in Chicago. So throughout the apartment, modifying searched, and then the apartment where in Chicago, and that's an adjective. So let's go through this and um, see how well you did. After the movie, the group of teenagers went to McDonald's for a burger. So you have... of teenagers to McDonald's for a burger and also after the movie a lot going on here after the movie is modifying went therefore it's an adverb group of teenagers modifying group therefore it's an adjective they where they go to McDonald's adverb modifying the verb why they go to McDonald's? For a burger. They went for a burger. Another adverb. So again, adverb, adjective, adverb, adjective, adverb, adverb. Next, without sugar, the blueberries were too sour for the dinner guests. Without blueberries, sorry, without sugar, modifying blueberries, adjective, were too sour for the dinner. Adverb. So again, adjective, adverb, phrase. Number three, Sally worked from midnight to noon on her science project. She worked from midnight to noon on her science project. What is she doing? She worked from midnight, she worked to noon, she worked on her so all three of these are adverbs. Next, over the river and through the woods to grandfather's house we go. Have you heard that before? It's modifying go. Modifying go. Again, they are both adverbs there. Adverbial phrases. Let's scroll down here a bit. Five, he ate three boxes of popcorn with butter during the movie. He ate three boxes, what types of boxes? Of popcorn, adjective. Popcorn, what type of popcorn? With butter popcorn, adjective. When did he, when did he eat? Right. Adverb. So again, adjective, adjective phrase, adverb phrase. Six, despite his fear of water, Jack saved the drowning puppy. What type of fear does he have? Of water. Head verb. Janet took her lunch out, lunch with her to the seminar. Um, so we have with her and to the seminar. Janet took her lunch with her to the seminar. Adverbs. At the county fair, child with the freckles. So he won at the county fair. Adverb. The child with freckles. Adjective. So again, adverb, adjective. For breakfast, she likes bananas with strawberries. For breakfast, with strawberries, likes, it's an adverb, bananas, adjective. Down the dark alley, the cat chased rat with long whiskers, yuck. 
down the alley, down the dark alley. That's where it chased. And the, the rat had long whiskers. So it's an adjective. This is an adverb. All right. How did you do before I move on? I'm going to zoom back out here so you can see what you're looking at. Go ahead and pause it if you need to look at it a little longer. Um, I'm going to switch to the next slide. All right, here's the second part of the sheet, phrases. We are looking at the underlying word and identifying if it's a gerund phrase, infinitive phrase, or a participle phrase. Um, the example, after the championship game, we went to White Castles to celebrate. You know, after the championship game is uh, clearly a participle. So, we'll go through these here. To land. It's an infinitive phrase. Winning the race in 2012 Olympics is her goal. It's a gerund phrase. It's a noun. It's the subject of the sentence. Appointed team captain in the summer. It's modifying how. It's modifying a noun. Therefore, it's an adjective. It's got to be a participle. While we ran to the store, the kids played video games to pass the time. What they play, when they play, while you ran to the store. It's an adverb, therefore, it is something we'll talk about next time. This is just a subordinate clause. It's not a phrase. Um, this is a trick. I want to see if you understood clauses. This is what we'll talk about next time, are subordinate clauses and how they can even act as adverbs, which is what this is, an adverb clause, not a phrase. Um, did you get that one? If you didn't, don't worry about it. Moving on, five. Uh, publishing his own work is a gerund. Glad to help is to help. You know, pretty easy to spot those, right? That's an infinitive phrase. Seven, fighting for workers' rights. It's a gerund. It's the subject of the sentence. It's a noun. Then at the show, we saw kids sitting together. The kids were sitting together, modifying a noun is a participle phrase. So, went a little faster, but I'll zoom out here so you can see. Um, did you identify these phrases correctly? And again, we talked about this being an ACT style um, test we're, we're dealing with. So you don't need to identify that, you know, for instance, this is the subject of the sentence or that this is uh, you know, the subject of the sentence. You, that's not what we're concerned with. We're concerned with being able to identify gerund phrases, infinitive phrases, and participial phrases.